I would put money on the fact that the Valve Deckard will have eye tracking and it will rely heavily on eye tracking to increase performance uh, of the set top box. And it will also use that for, and this is the other thing, is that most likely because this is the Deckard is a standalone device, it will be able to run um, VR games on the headset itself. Now, how well it'll run those devices is sort of uh, up in the air because as we know and as um david heaney on um on the upload vr podcast uh or download upload, upload, VR. upload vr podcast upload. uh always reminds us okay. is that there's no way you could get Af- half-life alex running on a standalone chipset it's just physically not possible sure. i would argue that um you don't have to get the PC version running, but you could get a port running that is heavily optimized to run. And most likely what will happen is they'll do the same thing that uh, that Oculus was doing for a while, which is that if you buy the standalone version, you get the PC version and vice versa. Sure. Which makes for great value. Yeah. Right. That would definitely sweeten the, the deal for me. 